Okay, guys, uh, this is to continue on our character design, my grade 12s, and obviously, and potentially this will be good for all my other classes. Uh, for those who are interested in character design, I think uh, this is a great exercise to go through, okay? So I'm just going to, I'm going to go over these examples that I've uh, linked for you guys in the past in my Google Drive. Let's look at them and see what we can study, okay? What we can realize, what we can observe, and so forth, okay? I'm just going to get rid of some of these and we'll just start one by one, I guess. Um, let's see. Um, Command plus, control plus. Uh, Chris, this is for you. I'm using Photoshop as opposed to Sketchbook because um, for me, Sketchbook is a lot, lot more intuitive and simpler to go with, but I'll go with this. Okay, first off, I'm using uh, the base general brushes here and I'm using a hard, hard uh, brush, okay? So what I'm doing here is I'm clicking on the brush tool and then you can add, um, we can change these, right? So that's, that's you know what I mean? That's what, that's what you're seeing. Shape dynamics, what's the difference? Nothing yet. Uh, scattering, nothing yet. Um, let's see what else. Uh, brush pose, noise, build up. Let's see what build up does. Nope, not much. So I'm just leaving it as is right now. Okay. So, uh, but oh, more importantly, sorry, shape dynamics. I need to come in here and go pen pressure. Okay. So I think for these things to work, we need to change these to uh, pen pressure, wherever that is. Okay. Let's go to build up is gone. Build up. There's nothing here you can do for that one. And same for smoothing. Okay. So let's see. Okay. So that's cool. You put more pressure and so on. So I'm just using my square brackets, just like in. Um, I can't believe I just drew on this layer. Okay, good stuff. See, I got to get in here and delete it. Bye-bye. Okay, so we'll lock this layer. See ya. Go on to the above layer. Command D for deselect. Okay, good to go. Bye-bye to that. All I have is my navigation up and over here. I, I think this is awesome that it's in here. Color wheel. Uh, I think that's my favorite. And also the fact that I could later on when I'm painting um, stuff for environment, and game assets, I like to stay in the mid zone here in the, um, in the saturation, the amount of black in the color uh, right here. And you can see that things will pop and work well and as opposed to being so muddy. But that's down the road, okay? Let's go. Let's get with this, all right? So what do I have? I have a bust here. I don't know if this is the Tesoro, uh, Tesoro one or not. Yeah, um, notice that. Let me just go to B for brush and um, I have a pen here, whatever. Uh, let me just... Um, here, put the, there we go, another item, see? So I put the pen pressure on, flow. I, I'm going to reduce my flow down to 30%. I don't know, just for fun. I don't need it to be so, um, okay, uh, so full of color at the moment. So looking at this, let's let's study it, okay? So I'm going to, I should have switched this around. Hang on a second. I'm a lefty, guys, so I need to move this on this side, okay? Here, like that, <laughs> so I can work with it, all right? Woo! Isn't that awesome? Yes. Okay, so what do we got? Uh, let me get to B for brush. We are in the right layer, I believe. Yes, let's do this. Okay, so look, I'm just drawing something, and I'm, I'm right now all I'm doing is I'm blocking what I'm seeing, okay? So no details. And this is something I'd like you guys to, to practice, okay? And uh, notice that here, okay? So this is kind of cool, and uh, I'm not measuring as well as I could, but... I'm, I'm just trying to simplify for you guys. So really, I'm going over it, and maybe I'm going to come down here, and this is what I'm seeing, okay? So this is an exercise of us exploring, observing, analyzing, okay? So as I said to you guys, somewhere in the middle here could be the brow. It's possible. And somewhere halfway is the nose, okay? So here's my nose, and in the middle of that is the mouth, okay? So from the brow, uh, notice the classic triangle, and then, you know, going out here and so on. So anyway, I'm not going to go into details. I'm just going to look for the surfaces, okay? That's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to understand by using these examples, all right? And we're already at four minutes here. Okay, so what do we got? We've got some the brow, right? So look, I can go something like this right now, okay? So look at this, possibly that, Command Z. And then normally what happens is in here, if I, if I just block this in right now, just like that, um, and if I had the eyebrow before turning into this, so normally some, some of these models end up having the third plane. So this would be one major plane here. And then this plane becomes number two on an angle. Okay, so we're just going to go in here and just explore. So I've got three planes. One, 
two, and three. All right, cool. Uh, notice that the cavity here is is going out, coming down, and over. So really, in the past, I, I would say to you guys, look, we've got these uh, kind of masks going on, which is exactly the same thing where your eye would be in here. Okay, uh, let's keep that one one to one distance here. Okay, and there there and to me this is the same thing but now it's more geometric okay so it's coming in so we've got that part all right cool so let's get into uh, this part here okay and but and then we have the nozzle right um, muzzle muzzle <laughs> okay uh, I'll, I'll color these eventually but let's let's look at what we've got here okay so we've got this plane so if you guys aren't comfortable doing it this way just trace it okay to me the goal is we're in distance learning and we are trying things out. I, I keep, I, I'm gonna repeat this over and over to you guys. I want you to learn for the sake of learning, not for the sake of what mark I'm getting, okay? So let's forget about the marks at this point. Your midterms are in. Let's just try to figure out what these planes are, okay? Let's experiment, let's, let's try to go somewhere where we've never gone before, okay? So that's what I'm saying to you guys. Hopefully that makes sense eventually. All right, so I'm going to color this in right now and here. Now, if there was a light source here, um, the ones, the, this side would be brighter. So I'm just going to go like this. <laughs> and this side will be like darker, okay? So it's cloudy and whatever. I'm just having fun here, okay? So that's my light source. Okay, so light to dark. Okay, but right now in terms of planes, I am seeing this plane here, and I'm also seeing that plane there. Cool. Um, Let's go another color here. I'm going to hit this side here. This side of the face is awesome. That's why I was saying to you guys, it'd be worth checking out the Clone Wars, okay? I know some of us are fans. That's not going to be a huge ask, which is what I like to hear. And notice, like, you know, like this side plane is going in, okay? Not bad. So we've got that happening. And then now we'll deal with the muzzle, okay? So I'm just going to come in here and... Um, just gonna go like something like this and I'm gonna say this whole area okay with with it's all geometrical okay so I'm just gonna color it in okay I should have a bigger brush here because I'm wasting my time here okay so there it is so we've got this one going not bad so I'm just working on planes okay so I'm gonna take this side here with another color let's just let's just add some color in our lives okay Okay, so we know there's multiple dimensions within this, but in terms of 3D modeling, this is a starting point, and then you add more sub-selections and you add more contours to go in deeper, right? So I'm just blocking it, guys. I'm blocking it. So look at this. I'm going to go uh, a bit brighter just for the sake of the middle here. Okay, look, brighter. Then I'm going to go a darker here. So I'm hoping by the end of this, these planes with various tones are going to show us the dimensionality of it, okay? So I'm taking this here. Uh, let's let's get the middle one here somewhere like this. Let's go here and just come in here. Boom, 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 like this. Okay, I just want you to, guys, for the sake of, of learning, let's do these activities and see what it yields, okay? Now, obviously, there's, there's like, there's two planes here. Okay, um, let me just, let's just borrow it. Okay, let's do it. One... To, I've gone really dark here, okay? I'm sorry, it should have been lighter. Okay, so we'll go like this. And now we're just gonna go a little darker on the side here, okay? So see, now we're getting some something happening. Okay, maybe there's not enough uh, separation there. So I'll just go something like this, okay? And I'm gonna go lighter somewhere here. Okay, so there. So the goal is for us to learn and 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 understand the three dimensionality of of the figure of the head of the body we're getting there step by step by step okay so this isn't bad and then i can come in here and say yeah there's another one here and so on and so on okay so i'm gonna leave the neck alone uh, like right now according to this we've got that one uh we've got another one coming down here um, I'm not worried about this right now. You don't need to do this, okay? So I'm just going to go over it a couple more times. And then uh, let's just lighten whatever here. Okay, so this is one right here. Okay, I've done something like this. Who knows? Okay, so I'm, I'm starting to understand that these planes, look, see? Plane here, plane here, 
and let's just go and I'm gonna go in uh, underneath the nose and I'm gonna make that darker this is really cool okay so look boom okay so um, if you zoom out I guess let's see yeah we can see it I can see it there in my nav okay so that's one done okay let's go with the X side the next one's kind of interesting because if you try this one you're going to be able to draw your characters facing different ways so right now and this is the I, I've always said to you guys the side view is kind of the easy one and the front view right and then it gets more difficult as we hit three-quarter views so what you do is you practice these okay three-quarter view and you start going okay so this one obviously it's something like this I'm, I'm not gonna do this one okay so guys here it is um, this comes down and from the chin it's it's kinda like there there it is okay so that comes in here then I want you guys to come in here and try to figure out the zones alright so this will help us next um, and I'll show you why I like this one okay so here this one has something different than that one look this three-quarter is kind of kind of in line but the three-quarter on the on this one here is looking a little upwards okay so there's an angle of difference okay so I'm gonna hide this one bye bye spacebar pen this is kind of cool okay and notice that both sides are not the same okay less detail more detail okay and this is gonna be cool because uh, most of the drawings that I've been doing I've been facing one way which has been something like this almost right so this one is saying to me look we've got the circle we've got this part going like that we've got look we've got this coming down why am I even looking so I know anyway it's something like this and here okay so I got something like that going and then wow look at those marks I'm making boy we got to figure the brushes out eh? okay so check it out so you got this happening and we got another one happening here okay uh, notice that the minute I do this here okay so I've got a cavity in here right I've got a cavity I'm hoping I have a cavity and I'm dividing my cavity notice that this one is a lot smaller okay and the nose is sticking up right here I mean we're seeing the underside sorry that's what I'm trying to say to you guys so I'm, I'm rushing this because I'm not making another 30 minute for you guys I know you're not happy with those but notice that this bridge here okay this bridge is awesome that's that's a hard line right there on a three-quarter view okay so if you start now cranking these colors out watch uh, I'm gonna just work on the side of the nose here okay and I'm going to go a little darker, pressing I. Same as in uh, Sketchbook. They're both actually very similar is what I was trying to tell you guys before. So see that dimensionality, A to B plane? That's what we're looking for, okay? Another thing under here. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Look. Now we go with the nozzle. Boom, down. Uh, on this side, it's, it's foreshortened, foreshortened. Okay, and then I can come in here and do stuff like that. So already I have something here. I'm going to take this color and go a little darker so we can make a three-dimensional plane here. Hopefully the colors will stand out enough to say, yep, you've got three colors here. Okay, so look, three planes, A, B, and C. Okay, I'm, I'm exaggerating because I'm rushing it here. And always on this side of the, bra um, the eyebrow is the turning side. So this is important for me look right there right and here it's saying all this is here and this part is very cool this is even um, this is more um, sophisticated but there's always this area that connects this this one to halfway here there's that part um, I have to look up what that what that term is so that is something here and then eventually what happens from here is you go like that okay so look at the dimensionality here um, next time I'm just gonna make a swatch a bunch of colors here and um, you will see uh, I won't waste time looking for colors so look boom there's that one this one here okay I'm gonna go brighter here and see so you're getting the stuff now I'm gonna go darker I'm gonna press I here and all I could do all I have to do is work this way it works as well see this should be another plane okay so what I'm trying to show you guys that there's stuff happening here let's let's just go through the exercise and do this if you want to trace it and color after you're I'm all for it I don't I don't mind okay so again so look one two three four that's the movement here okay that's what I'm trying to say to you guys take the time 
analyze okay and that's all I wanted you guys to do this week and I was wondering how you were doing we'll talk about it in less than an hour in our in our online meeting okay so this is what I'm trying to say to you guys have fun do these things and notice like like right in here now look look at all these different planes look at this plane by the ear okay if this was my ear here there's a triangular piece here look there's also a direct connection from the ear to the eye to the, to the socket like to this part here and then there's a triangle down here but I'm not gonna get I I'm, I'm researching guys and I'm, I'm learning these things okay so look here's that one isn't that nice and then let's let's knock this one in place watch uh, and I'm gonna go super bright here look just so it's like look if the angles don't make sense don't worry about it let's let's just like do this and appreciate the various planes that exist that's all I'm trying to do and I really think and I'm gonna say this again that our drawing skills are going to be improved once we do uh, these kinds of studies okay so I'm just gonna come down here look a third dimension another dimension look we just we just planes okay this is great for 3d modeling and drawing how cool is that when we can use the skills more than one place okay I'm gonna light this guy up I'm gonna say that's it oh so much for that like here let's go like that another angle here okay so this is cool stuff. I'm enjoying it. I hope you are too, okay? Bellion out, guys. See you later. Okay, so uh, one minute extra soundbite here for you guys and a visual. Uh, based on the activities I'm asking you to do, again, last night while watching TV, I did this without the reference, right? So, I'm again, my goal has been for me to understand the plane changes okay oops i'm gonna have to come over here and bring a brush tool here so i'm i'm i'm, I'm practicing and I'm, I'm trying to figure out these movements okay so um and so i can see the movements here movements there and i'm doing this without any reference while watching tv this is the activity i want to see from you guys yes you copy you copy the ref uh the reference for the various heads and then try to doodle doodle and see if you you can create a head that way this way where you start adding planes okay that's what I was doing while watching TV I hope um, you can see where this is leading us to okay and again it's not about how well other people are doing it's 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 you moving your barometer from here to here this is you saying here's how I started here's my second time here's third time and so on and so on and I can see the gradual improvements that's all I'm asking you guys to do okay I hope you can appreciate this, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Ballion out.